Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all doing very well. My name is Alex, and welcome back to another episode of Saving Granddad's Farm. The last time you were with us, we did a little bit of a live stream uh, because I thought it'd be a great idea. So I spoke to SFD and he said, go for it. So we did. Uh, but anyway, we're back with you today uh, in normal blogging standard service. So I hope everyone's been doing okay there. Videos are coming out a little bit more uh, spaced out from us these days. Just allowing us to get bits and pieces done, really. Uh, so there's a few little things to update you on there. We're going to go and have a wander over the pigs soon. Uh, we've just been topping up a few of the greenhouses here this morning. There. We've got a new bit of kit to show you. We've got some uh, some bales that are being taken away very shortly as well. We're just waiting for the arrival of the, uh, the fella who's going to come buy a, a trailer load off us. So we'll get those all cleared up soon. Just going to kind of tip this into here. It's looking good. Splendid, yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll crack on. So it's yeah, like I say, we've keeping ourselves going as always. Uh, we're just having a little veedman at the moment, uh, getting the bit of just maintenance work done. Really, the days are all looking good. Uh, we're gonna park this up again. So yeah, keeping the orchard fields ticking over there, which is always priority number one. Uh, and they're looking all uh, looking good, really. They are looking good. Everything has been drilled up for us here on the home farm in Six Ashes. There, we're all all done and dusted, which is great. Uh, and this tractor, the Massey, well, the Massey is not long uh, before it's going to be sent away from the farm here, really. But don't worry, we're not getting rid of it. We are not getting rid of it. In fact, I just knocked my lights on there, did I? There you go. Uh, it is going away. Uh, it has been cleaned to within an inch of its life with us here. And it's looking remarkable, but I want to get it all properly taken care of. So with that in mind, it's going to be taken away. Uh, it's going to be resprayed. So this is the last time you're going to see it looking like this. And then we'll get it back uh, in all of its shine and glory. And I can't wait to see that. It will look fantastic. So that's hopefully going to be... I'm going to drive that away tomorrow. Uh, it is uh, Saturday when we're recording this. So I'm going to take it away uh, maybe Sunday, maybe, maybe Monday to the, uh, to the fabricators. They can keep hold of it for a little bit. We've, the heavy work's been done for us at this side. doesn't look like there'll be too much drilling work coming in on the horizon. But if there is... I got the old beauty of the case here as well. We can jump onto that one and make sure we can get it all done there. Uh, we actually need to get that sprayer put onto there at some point. Or the spreader, sorry, because we've got a little bit of fertilizer that we'll have to put down soon. Uh, but yeah, first things first. Have a look at the new bit of kit we bought here. This is specifically for our uh, pigs, just to get them all fed up properly. Uh, nice little thing. I didn't really think I needed it to when we first got the pigs, but it kind of made sense in the end there to go for it. So we have... And uh, yeah, we're going to get this used uh, today. In fact, pretty much now. So we'll just jump on in now. This is a nice little thing. I see it's a little heavy on the front of this. So I've got to be a bit careful uh, because I haven't even got a bale in here yet. And it's already causing a bit of a ruckus with the weight. So what we're going to do is just drop this about here. Stick a bale in it. Take it over the road. Uh, still got the spike on as well. A handy little spike to have. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just stick a bale and take it over the road and get this put in here. So we're going to be taking some straw away today. Pick that one up there. Happy days. Those bales kind of fell down there. So we'll likely be using those ourselves over time and just get them all taken care of. Uh, put you up there. That should just about do it. We'll leave her there. And now we hook ourselves back onto this. It's a little fiddly thing to get used to, but once you're in, it kind of works. Ooh, easy. There you go. Perfect. She's in. Uh, and now we're just going to head on over through to our uh, to our pigs. Go and check in on those today. Uh, and then we'll come on back through. We got rid of the acrobat and the old tether. They've been sold pretty much for scrapper. You just clear them up. They're getting rid of some of the stuff in here. Uh, I think what I might look to do is park some of the trailers in here over the winter just to get them all out, the, out of the weather. Out of the elements there. Just kind of keep the yard looking tidier, really. Uh, the bales are still looking good. Uh, looking for a buyer for those probably during, well, any point between now and through the winter there, really. But uh, I'm in no real rush. There's still a good price out there as well. So we'll make a nice return on that. I'm absolutely sure. Uh, the fields that we took that off, the two reclaimed fields are growing nicely, but we're just going to kind of leave them uh, as we have to really, we just leave them uh, throughout the winter months, not allowed to do anything, not allowed to treat them with anything. Uh, and then we'll let them grow back in the spring and then, yeah, they'll take one more crop off each field. And that's it done, really. Uh, it's not 
the crop itself isn't very lucrative it's a good rewilding scheme there really and we also get paid by death for it just to be uh to take a crop to leave it really uh, as encouragement for the the wildlife in the area so a lot of nice wild varieties of plant life in there along with uh, some many different bees and insects and birds floating around there as well which is fantastic it's absolutely what you want to see uh i'm trying to find some old material where i can here just to get a little bit of a, a bedding system up i think that'd be really good to get uh would really like that now i just need to make sure that this is all being programmed in properly got everything plugged into the hydraulic hoses in the right order uh, and see if it's going to work for us so i think we're all good what we're going to do then pop around here bring ourselves back in there we'll just lift up over the uh, over the board and we're away there perfect stuff get that up a little bit smashing it off the uh off the door there bit falling on the floor in front of us but i'll take it we're just gonna come back a bit more you know what that might be us looking pretty good there actually fantastic nice and easy with a bit of the bale left on there as well so we're gonna keep the the bale feeder on this side of things so i can kind of stay over here uh this is where we could really do a little shed just to kind of stick things on i'm not particularly keen on leaving this outside so we'll just drop it into here for now give it all the way uh, and then each day when we need to, we'll come in and get this. And if I just try and keep it to one side, then perhaps, perhaps we can still get kind of past it there. We'll leave it about there, I think. Perfect. I want to keep the veil spike on, though. Okay, and whilst we're here, actually, there's two bales of straw there. We're just going to stick under the cover. Uh, and then, yeah, we're good. But yeah, pigs are happy. They seem to be putting on a bit of uh, finishing weight as well, which I'm delighted to see. Uh, really is good news to see that one come through. So, uh, we'll, we'll keep them here, keep them happy, keep them, uh, fed up and fastening, and we'll be good. And that's the rest of our feed mix in there as well. That system worked quite well. I'm not, I need to think about how we're going to do that moving forward because we don't have too much may or corn really that we can put into that that we have to grind up. So, I have to see how that's going to work. But yeah, for a good start, for a starting point at least, it worked very well. Uh, and what I'm thinking of as well, put some sort of lean-to, like I mentioned, along this side here, when we can afford it. It might not be anytime soon, but certainly where it would go. Uh, and we'll, yeah, just to give us a storage option here, you need to put a nice proper gate on this farm as well, just to keep it all nice and safe. So that'll be on the list of things to do as well. We'll just line these bells up on this side, keep them out of the weather. And now we come here, and oh, there... He is here for me, as it would turn out. Uh, so I better scoot back on over there. Looks like he is coming in. My buyer coming in for a load of straw, so we'll just try and nick around the side here. Uh, and we're going to get that filled up. I think we'll use the straw from the combine shed just to free that up so I can get some more space to park the equipment. Which is a pity because I'm not quite ready for him. So I'll we'll have to move some gear around quickly here. Uh, I'm sure you won't mind. Okay, let's just jump on in and move that tractor out of the way, I reckon. Is he coming round? Oh, there he is. Some big John Deere, that, if nothing else. Good lord. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably, just to be safe, we'll put the case onto the fertilizer spinner now. Don't want anything to hit that when it's almost brand new for me, so uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, yeah, you stop that. Perfect. Excellent stuff. And then we're into the old combine here. Got some new belts on the way for this, just so we can give it a little bit of a... There's a few little things that I want to change out. And then it'll be well. It should be fine for the uh, for the season coming. I uh, see no reason why it won't be. So that'd be... I can't wait to get back onto that. Well, obviously, the acreage is increasing. So uh be interesting to see how, it, how much longer it takes to get through all that ground. But... That's definitely a challenge for next year. And we'll see. The temptation's always there to go a bit bigger and a bit more modern. But with that, there's always extreme costs, right? So uh, we'll try not to keep this in here too long. What with it being next to some hay? Uh, just uh, for the purpose of getting this all shifted out of the way, that will be fine. Uh, yeah, so onwards with the straw loading up, uh, I reckon, there. Uh, we've got plenty of field bales in there. We'll be fine. We will be grand. 
So I hope everything is going well with yourself there. Many of you are cracking along with Harvest of various different types. Uh, let us know how that's going in the comments down below. Uh, oh, and we'll just take two of these. Uh, oh, I've missed one. Okay, one at a time it is then. I don't think this fork is quite wide enough. Uh, well, not to worry. Let's kick that out a bit there. There you go. to push that one on that didn't go very well for the first bail oh well yeah there's a really strong straw market still it's coming down a little bit because the straw seems to be in plentiful supply particularly barley straw this year seems to be all over the place but uh it's nowhere near as bad as it was last year but still if you have straw to sell there's still a, a good surplus on it that's for sure Um, back we come. Okay. So you can really tell the difference between the old bales that the old Italian baler that we had was making there and the newer ones. The newer ones are by far superior. I think some of these were even made with the uh, with that Mikhail that we had on demonstration back when. Uh, so yeah, quite a difference. I'm not sure why I came in on such an angle for that, but we did. Uh, behind me in, in our new, uh, what was going to be a new grain shed, it's really just kind of a machine storage shed now, is an awful lot of uh, my newer equipment. Uh, the equipment that we kind of picked up over the last year or so. Uh, all kind of serviced up, all washed and cleaned down there for the winter, so it's all looking in good nick. Uh, and it's going to stay there now until we need it. I'm hoping... We've still not received the door. I believe the door's still lost in uh, transport somewhere. And my suppliers keep bl blaming various different things from pandemics to Brexit and everything else in between. So hopefully we can get that shutter door on there soon. Can't be that hard to find one, that's for sure. But it's uh, fortunately we didn't have to keep grain in there because otherwise that would have really been pretty useless. But anyway, on we go. Yeah, they certainly got better bail spikes in terms of uh, picking up more than one in one hit. But into, this is just easier, I guess. We'll keep plugging along with this. There you go. Otherwise, aside from this... Not too much else new to report these days. Uh, you know, like I say, most of our contract work's done. We're just keeping the, the veg production side of things going, keeping the greenhouses going, and they are you know, doing a grand job there, really. Really extending our season as far as production goes. Looking into the possibility of getting one or two of them heated to allow us to continue throughout the winter there. I'm not really sure what that looks like at the moment. I have to figure that one out. Uh, but yeah, that's on the cards as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Otherwise, everything else is uh, everything's going well. Nice to have a little bit of a respite, though. You know, from the busy harvest there, but that we've got everything through. But, like I say, looking to get a few little smaller jobs here and there. We're trying to get a bit more consistent spraying work as well. If we can get that, that would be really cool. Just to, you know, keep a, a steady source of income. That's what we've got to look for. Ooh. You there. You stay there. There you go. I'm going to lose that one. Let's pick it up again properly. Perfect. All right, then. Yeah, pretty much that's going to be it for us right now. I think what we'll do is just keep pushing through with this load. And it's taking... I could change the fork out, but we're getting it done. Getting ourselves down here. Uh, clearing some space, that's the main thing. I'll be careful and throw those onto the combine. I'm just been singing that combine's praises. I don't want to throw a bale onto it. There you go. Uh, yeah, so we'll just get all of this space cleared out so we can get some tractors parked into here and probably I want to get that seed away from here as well. Uh, put that back into the this, this seed shed there. Uh, and we're good. 
So yeah, this has just been a small little update here. Really not much to report. But I thought we'd bring you along for the ride anyway so you can see how we're getting on. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or feedback, as always, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them where I can when I see them. Click that one on. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, we'll be back with you sooner rather than later. Uh, like I said, lots of different updates, though. And SFTN has a bit of a, a, a alternating rhythm and routine at the moment. But that's not a problem. And we'll, we'll just keep ticking along here until we see you next time, though. I have been Alex. This has been another episode of Saving Grandless Farm. If you have enjoyed it. Oh, Lord, that was close. I'm going to take that one off there. I've nearly been the combine. Good God. Ooh, probably bent something there. Ooh, good job that thing's made out of nothing but iron, it seems. Heavens above, that was close. Okay. All right, so with that, it's probably even better time to leave it. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I have been Alex, as always. This has been Saving Grandland's Farm, and we'll see you all in the next one.